Do you feel like you've reached a certain level and you're not growing as an artist? You might have hit a wall in your artistic journey. You're not alone, we've all been there. So today I wanna to talk about why stepping out of your comfort zone as an artist can have a huge impact on your personal and artistic growth. And while I do that, I'll be painting my little grandson in watercolor. Recently, a friend of mine gave me some old watercolour DVDs to watch. DVDs from Joseph Zerbukvich, Alvaro Castanet and Greg Allen, all masters of watercolour painting. I looked at them over the past few evenings and watching them paint made me feel really inadequate. Those guys are geniuses. They ooze with confidence when they paint. They make their brush dance over the paper and every stroke of the brush has meaning. My watercolour paintings in comparison look like melted gummy bears in a puddle of disappointment. I felt inspired after I watched them paint, but I also felt that old self-doubt creep back in. You know, those thoughts, I'll never reach that level, who am I kidding, why do I even bother? But then I reminded myself of something that I've told you guys. Don't compare yourself to others. Everyone is at a different stage on their own journey. If I'm going to do any comparing, I need to compare how I'm painting now to how I was painting a few years ago. And there has been some growth. I would not have attempted this painting a year or two ago. I wouldn't have been able to pull it off. I told myself I couldn't possibly paint portraits and figures. I was happy to draw them, but to paint them, that filled me with fear. The reason I feel I have more confidence now is because I'm able to push myself out of my comfort zone. I make myself try things that I'm not comfortable painting. I know I won't have success straight away, but if I keep practicing, then surely success won't be too far away. I'm not a landscape painter, but I ventured into that uncharted territory a few times. I haven't had much success with it yet, but I learned a lot from the few attempts that I have made and I was able to paint this cow in water which I would have avoided doing if I had not put that practice in and I'm really happy with that painting. Too many times through my life I've stopped myself from trying things because I didn't think I was capable. I used to use graphite before I started painting and I told myself that I couldn't possibly paint. I understood tonal value, but not colour. Painting wasn't for me. I was in my comfort zone with graphite. Everything was black and white and shades of grey. Colour was scary. But I pushed myself past that limiting thought. I confronted my fear and I started painting. And I'm so glad I did because painting has been my life ever since and I can't imagine living without it. We are all creatures of habit and the things we do become deeply ingrained in our daily lives and it's not easy to break out of those habits. We avoid discomfort and we avoid the potential of failure. When I'm doing a painting, I think I'll do it that way because I always do it that way. If I try a different way, I might fail. The problem is that if we stay in that familiar territory, we might become less motivated and lose inspiration and enthusiasm for what we do. We might start feeling regret or self-doubt. We might wonder what could have been achieved if we'd taken more risks. Famous artists throughout history have embraced stepping out of their comfort zones. 
Pablo Picasso reinvented his artistic style. Vincent van Gogh experimented with different painting techniques and styles. And Salvador Dali pushed the boundaries of conventional art by exploring the subconscious and irrationality. This willingness that they had to explore new territories had a profound impact not only on themselves, but on the trajectory of art history as a whole. Stepping out of our comfort zone doesn't mean we have to abandon what we love doing. It's more about experimenting, pushing boundaries and embracing growth. So what can we do? How do we step out of our comfort zones? Well, I have a few suggestions that might give you the confidence and inspiration to do that. Number one, embrace learning. Recognize that growth as an artist is a lifelong journey. Improvement takes years and years of steady practice. Instead of always focusing on the outcome of your painting process, focus on the learning instead. Focus on the enjoyment of painting and the fun of learning. Allow yourself the freedom to play and explore without the pressure of creating a masterpiece. Stay curious and invest in your artistic education. Take art classes, workshops or online courses to enhance your skills and expand your knowledge. And document your progress, keeping a record of your artistic journey. Use a visual diary because it will allow you to reflect on your progress, identify areas that you need to improve, and it will help you to appreciate how far you've come. Number two, explore different styles and mediums. Sometimes trying something completely different can spark new inspiration and open up new avenues for growth. Experiment with different artistic styles and techniques or even explore new mediums altogether. When you venture into uncharted territory, you can break free from creative stagnation. When I first started painting in watercolour, there was no way I was going to attempt to do any backgrounds. Backgrounds were beyond my skill level and I didn't even try. But I became aware that I needed to make my paintings distinctly my own. And I needed to start experimenting with my own style. These days, I like to add splashy areas of colour to add interest. And I will keep exploring this as I grow. Which leads me to number three, develop new skills. Push yourself to learn and develop new skills. Don't keep doing the same old thing. Try an unfamiliar subject or try different artistic approaches. If you find it difficult to paint wet on wet, then do it more often. If you are a tight painter, then try relaxing when you paint and let the paint do what it wants to do. Hold the brush further up the handle. Stand up to paint. Use an easel or prop your painting board up instead of painting flat on the table. Through practice and perseverance, you can refine your techniques. You'll expand your artistic toolbox and you'll become an even more versatile and skilled artist. Nobody becomes an overnight success without having years of practice behind them. Number four, study the work of other artists. Explore the work of artists you admire and those who work in different styles or mediums. Analyse what they do. Look at their techniques, their compositions, and the way they use colour. Doing that might inspire new ideas and give you the confidence to expand your skills. Go to art exhibitions and events. Immerse yourself in the art world beyond what you were doing yourself. Engage with your local art community. Doing so can provide fresh ideas, insights, and exposure to different artistic approaches that can enrich your own practice. And number five, embrace failure and learn from your mistakes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes or experience failures because you will fail many times. 
But those failures are part of the creative process and can be valuable learning opportunities. Instead of falling down into the depths of despair, embrace them as a way to move toward growth and improvement. You can't improve if you don't make mistakes. And I made plenty of mistakes with this painting, but that's okay. It's a stepping stone to my next one. I will learn from those mistakes and I'll try not to repeat them. Growth as an artist requires stepping out of our comfort zones. It's about embracing the unknown and pushing boundaries. It's about seeking opportunities to learn and improve. As artists, I'm sure you know that our journey is filled with ups and downs, successes and failures, but it's through those experiences that we grow. So I encourage you to embrace learning, explore new styles and mediums, develop new skills, study the work of others, and embrace failure as a stepping stone to success. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with other artists. Keep creating, keep exploring, and I'll see you next time. Can give you a huge impact. Yeah, I'll just give you a huge impact. Did you know that? Dominique? Dominique? You step out of your comfort zone, you get a you get a huge impact. Yeah. Sorry, I have to start again. It's gone too fast. I'm doing it again. Did Leo walk in front of the camera there? Yes. Are we going with it or are we doing it again? Going with it.